Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take and make a $75 trivet. This is a modern version of a trivet, of like the old school trivets that you've seen in the past. It's meant to fit in a modern aesthetic for a home, and they are a fairly popular seller, uh, or at least they have been in the past when I have sold them for a right around that price. I've since moved on to more expensive and elaborate ironwork, and so that's why I don't really offer these through my site anymore. But they are a very popular design uh, to take and be able to buy or to make. So we're starting with a piece of eighth inch thick material, uh, and I'm not sh quite sure, right around 10 gauge material is what you want to take and start off with. You want it to be fairly robust so this way it can handle heavier pots and pans. And we're just going to heat up each leg individually. <coughs> also for this project, you're gonna want some form of wooden mallet. It doesn't have to be fancy. Uh, in fact, this one's about split out and done here. I just made this up the other day, but I made it out of some dead limb wood. I just needed a real quick you know, just a real quick mallet, and that seemed to do the purpose just fine. So that's what I got Sarah on there. And you're gonna need some sort of radius here in order to take and bend the leg in a common or in normal fashion. One thing you wanna watch out for is having too much bend in one leg and not enough bend in the other. What I mean by that, is you don't want one to have a nice sharp bend to it and the other one to have a shallow bend to it in the legs. That'll end up hurting you later on. So just kind of pay attention to the shape of the leg as you bend the pieces around. It doesn't have to be super hot or anything like that either. You just want to take and have roughly about the same amount of radius and or arc to each one of the legs and then that will get you mostly even. One of the other things I'll say is when you're making these, you're going to want to go ahead and get this as straight as possible or go a little bit over 90 degrees with each one of the legs because when you go to straighten this up later to even out the height of everything, when we heat this whole piece back up, you want them to be a little over 90. That way when they flex out a little bit, it'll come back to more of a natural looking position. So we'll heat up one more leg here, and we'll continue. So by now you may be saying, if you've made it this far in the video, this is nice and all Roy, but how am I going to make that design myself? Uh, I actually have a template of this. It's part of my all template bundle for $3 over at my website, blacksmithpdfs.com. It has a lot of great designs that I have used over the last 10 years or so that I have been doing this. And uh, definitely for the last, uh, I'll add more stuff as I get along to it, to that template. Uh, but it holds most of the templates that I've used in the last decade or so of forging. And I've put, created that to you know, be a resource for you to help you out in your smithing endeavors. Whether those endeavors are for business or if those endeavors are just for personal use, uh, feel free to go check out that template bundle. Again, the link for that will be down in the description down below. Also, I'd like to mention that that is a great way of sponsoring the content that you see here on YouTube. Christ Center for Christ Center Ironworks here is by becoming a channel sponsor and either sharing sharing this content around with your friends, which really does help out a great deal. Uh, if you watch the videos and hit the like button on them and things like that, that counts as engagement and that really does help. And also if you financially support us by buying plans and things of that nature, that also helps doing this type of content here on YouTube. And we do greatly appreciate you for that. Uh, Jessica and I both. So again, if you do any of those aforementioned, whether sharing it around with your friends, sharing this content around with your friends, or 
purchasing down digital downloads for us every month, things like that. Uh, you guys are awesome, you guys and gals, I should say, and uh, we do greatly appreciate you. You are a sponsor of this channel, and we just thank you. Thank you very much. So, all right, so we're gonna continue to get this nice and hot. Enough me waffling on, sounding like a salesman. We're almost on to the last leg, and then I can let you go. So you guys can see how quickly you can do this. Uh, it's a very handy, very handy item to add to your uh, already, hopefully growing by now, arsenal of skills and products that you can offer through your own websites. And uh, hopefully it's a benefit to you. So we're gonna go ahead and get that curved down. And we're gonna hammer in there. And again, I'm just looking for about the same curvature each time. If you want to guarantee that you get the same curvature each time, a great way of doing that is finding a piece of round stock that you can use for that purpose. Again, this is to take and fit a bit of a modern aesthetic. So we're gonna give that a little bit of a straighten. If you put a touch mark in it, put it in the underside. You do not want to put it on the top because that will ruin kind of the flow of line and things. We don't want that. So I always put the touch mark in on bottom if you can. And just like that, poof, voila, we're done. Now, this is usually where I leave this for about 75 bucks. I will highlight the edges ever so lightly on the belt sander, and then I will heat this whole piece back up and coat it with some vegetable oil. You do not want to use a paint or any sort of lacquer or things like this on this piece because this is going to be used to hold hot pots and pans up off of a table or something like that. So you don't want to you don't want to use paint on an item like this. You want to make sure that you use something appropriate that's like a cooking oil of some sort and do a hot rub finish. Again, I'll sand off these edges sometimes and just highlight them and there you go. Nice, simple, quick, easy. Can't ask for better than that. So anyways, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching this. If you enjoyed the video, share it around with your friends and uh, we greatly appreciate that. If you're interested in the template for this or any of those other templates, I forget how many are in that bundle. I think there's close to 25 or 30 templates in that bundle. It's listed over there on the website. You can go check that out. And uh, as always, God bless you and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.